What's up, Guard Fighters? Clark here from Vanguard Central, coming at you with a GBT-08 updated Freeze Ray Messiah deck profile. Stand up, Vanguard! Starting off with our starter, we have Natatorial, the leader Nye, just our grade three searcher of our deck. We really want to make sure we ride Freeze Ray, so. Grade 3 Searcher adds soul, adds consistency. We really like that. On to our grade 3s. Uh, pretty straightforward. We have 4 Star Vader Freeze Ray Messiah. Uh, if he gets hit, uh, when you take damage, you can lock one of your opponent's unit. So, super good. Stops a bunch of uh, aggro decks out there like Aqua Force or, um, yeah, or Royal Paladin, anything out there. So, uh, Freeze Ray Messiah, super good. And then we have 4. Alter Ego Messiah as our backup. Uh, we want to ride him later into game. Um, since we have a big souls and we have a bunch of strides that coincide with Messiah, uh, Alter Ego Messiah is the best. I mean, this is one of the top decks in the meta. So, for Alter Ego Messiah. On to grade twos, we have one uh, Lady Battler of the Gravity Well. Uh, I know it's different from the last time. This is. Um, but you just, it's free, it's an act, you choose one of your rear guards, lock it, and then this unit gets plus 4. If you combo it with the grade 1, uh, if this unit gets plus 4, then you can give it plus 3. It's a 16k column by itself, super cool. And then, uh, we have 3 Awakening Messiah, just to add a little more consistency and, uh, aggression, um, in our restanding plays, like with Riddle Biter or... Yeah, mainly with Riddle Biter, so we can restand him. But three, and it just is the best number that we have found. Then from the set eight, we have three Lady Battler of the Black Dwarf. Uh, this girl is just super OP. She is CB1 at the end of the battle that this unit attacked the Vanguard. Uh, if you do, choose one of your other units, and it gets plus five until end of turn, and then lock this unit. So she adds so much consistency to the deck when you can't lock things during your battle phase, like um, like Arrest or Messiah. But the cool thing is that she gives plus 5k to that unit. So with Riddle Biter again, uh, if he unlocks something, that's he's basically 16k by himself, which are just absurd numbers. And then lastly for grade 2, we have 4. Uh, Arrest your Messiah uh, on place 11k. If he attacks, you can choose a unit in, in your back row or in your opponent's back row. Lock it. So, mainly lock your units. I mean, lock the opponent's units adds a little more uh, control, but it's really good, solid, and hits numbers. And then, grade ones, we have two Riddle Biter. Um, two is just a solid number that we found. I mean, not having, not having like uh, three or four makes a deck. A little weaker since the other grade ones are a little more important. Uh, Riddle Biter just adds so much pressure, and like it just means you have to value the card a lot more at that point. And since you're playing Link Joker, obviously you're already locking down your unit, your opponent to like one attack a turn, so it's not like you have to guard with him or anything like that. Next, we have four Shred Fodders because we need to stride, and we also need to get alter ego into our hand when we have like an abundant of freeze rays so four shard fodders then we have four sacrifice messiah um this this card was on like the fringe of three or four but it's just proved a lot of consistency is a really viable unflip engine it's obnoxious on defense uh, if you have two of these out on the board you can give your vanguard plus 6k like if you lock something else like it's just really really good and, you know, you don't have to rely on PGGs to unflip things. And they also make numbers on offense. So, Sacrifice them at 4. And then, 4 PGGs, um, Flower and Vacuum, Cosmo Reef. On to our triggers. So, we run 10, we run 10 critical triggers, 4 being the Paradigm Shift Dragon. So, we can send, him, send this card back into the deck which is really good especially late game if the game ever goes long it's like oh hi I just have 
four triggers I'd like to put back. It's like super consistent. Four Blink Messiah. Uh, so we can just put in the soul and draw. So adds more soul for Alter Ego. But mainly, um, you know, just consistency all around with the deck. And then two of the beloved child of S Super String Theory draw trigger. Um, we can't. We cut back a little bit on the draws, just because the draw engine of the deck is really good. Um, I'll explain a little bit of the pl um, a little bit of the plays in a bit, but uh, the draws like if you'd hit them, you're like, dang, that that could be a crit instead of adding more hand. And since this deck normally goes to deck out, it's just better to have more aggression. And then we have one of each heal trigger. Boom. So four heals like. Pretty standard. On to our G Guardians, we have two Death Star Vader, Demon Maxwell. Uh, lock something in your back row and it gains plus 5k. So, combos with sacrifice, you could go up to like, what is it, like 31, 37 on your first lock if you have two out on the board. That's just obnoxious. And uh, then we have one Dismal. For that Laurel matchup, or if we want to keep a rear guard out on the board. And then we also have one Genesis Beast Destiny Guardian. Uh, this card uh, didn't prove its value at first, but like later on, testing more with the deck, it just got obnoxious because if you lock your own thing, your own units, right? Because you have to unlock with this guy, uh, you could basically draw on your own turn. So if you have a locked column of two units, you can just unlock them and then draw two cards on your turn defensively, which is just <laughs> absurd drawing on your opponent during your opponent's attacking phase while you're defending. So you could draw like a PG or just extra shield to put on top of this guy. So super good. Uh, G, G guards are just been really consistent for us. Then we have one. Seabreeze obviously punish a grade 2 game or if they miss ride. Then we have one Blizza for late game. Uh, since we go through an abundance of strides, you know, we have like we could hit up to like 77k or more. Then we have one Madu uh, to pick up a grade 3, so it's as if we didn't really lose anything. So Madu, super awesome. Uh, then we have three. Genesis Dragon Amnesty Messiah. Um, what's it called? Counter Blast 1. When it attacks, you can unlock 3, and then it'll gain plus 3 for each pa for each unit unlocked, and you get a crit. Uh, really good. Solid with, with the aggression of the deck and the unflip engines. Like, a lot of the stride costs don't even really matter because you have a really good consistency with your rear guards and even your PGGs. Then we have 2. Genesis Dragon, Excelix Messiah. Um, you have to have an Amnesty Dragon in your G zone, but when it unlocks units, they get plus three, and then um, yeah, every unit unlocked gets plus three. So you're just making power columns with this guy, which is really cool. You know, one of our more aggressive strides. It's super easy to fulfill. So, and then you may be wondering what the last four strides are. You might guess Flag a Lot Messiah. I'm sorry. But that guy didn't make the cut. Uh, instead, we chose to go to go for for Genesis Dragon Trans Else Messiah, aka Spaghetti Messiah. Um, this card sets a lot of tempo for us, and like, and since we really like that, um, he doesn't Omega Lock, and he just locks units like for free, basically. So if your opponent plays the whole board, uh, you could just lock them down instantly, which is really really good um <clears throat> sorry you yeah it ju it's just better that you don't omega lock in this deck because you want to be able to abuse the draw engine and the soul is so f so big since you have the the crits the draw trigger and the what's it called the starter it's just you want to draw at least like five five cards from using that soul alone so uh, Transels brings us a lot of a lot of that consistency, and like having our own locked units. Like say they just unlock, we can draw two from that too, as well. 
So super versatile, just better than Big Crunch and uh, Flag a lot in this overall deck engine that we have. All right, card fighters. Hope you enjoyed the deck profile. If there's any uh, questions about the deck, just please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, uh, our win rate with this deck is really, really high. It's a it's a really good deck, and you know, Link Joker, not the best, not the most appeasing. Um, what's it called skills but it just gets the job done and that's all we could really ask for the deck otherwise vanguard central out